the camera. Ha, this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> really? Is that your idea of a prank, Azriel? You are so strange. Hmm. Azriel? Hmm? Do you remember the pie disaster? What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. He only finished two slices before he fell ill. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have <laughs> laughed it off like you did. The fact that something so charming could be so deadly, it is a bit funny. Mm. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Hmm? Uh, uh, uh. Hm. Nowhere. Forget it. And turn that off. You're wasting tape. Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. <sighs> huh? Don't move! Azriel, watch out! No! Kill it! <laughs> Not really what I asked for, but good work, Azriel. Now stay back. Wait! Please! I just want to go home! Kara? Do not listen to it! You know you cannot trust it! I... of course. Azriel, don't look. I'll handle this. Uh, wait! No! Stop! Please! No! Kara, wait! Huh? This... This doesn't seem right. Asriel, you know this is the only way. I know that. It's just... <sighs> hmm. Listen, this is not easy for me either. What? Perfect! Then there's no need to rush. We can capture it. Maybe we can learn something. Wait. I mean, we can always kill it later, right? Azriel, no. The risk is too great. I won't do anything. You can lock me up. Just don't. Please, don't. Huh? Kara, let's take them back. They don't seem too dangerous. I assure you, it is quite capable of doing harm. All right, then we'll restrict them. If you tie their hands, they won't be able to... to... It should be safer, right? <sighs> Fine. We will postpone. Now, how do you propose we restrain this liability? Er... Oh! Your sash! <laughs> ah! There. Lead the way. Phew. And mind your distance. Azriel, huh? What are you doing out here anyway? You were late to dinner, and when you didn't answer your phone, I got kind of worried. I figured <laughs> I would come get you, just in case. After all, you always text back, Kara. Uh, anyway, I eventually heard the huh? shouting, and, well, here we are. Wait, Kara, are you hurt? Clearly. What happened? What do you think? Huh? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Um, maybe you can lean against me? Or I can carry you? That is not necessary. I can walk on my own. At least wear my cloak. No, I do not need it. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. I'll call Mom. No, we will inform your parents in person. Call the guards. Ensure they are ready at the prison. Oh, okay. Wow, I can't even remember the last time someone was in there. Look, look! Who is that? Where do they come from? And why are Azriel and Kara with them? Odd. Should we ask? I don't know. Get closer. Huh? Azriel? Huh? Dismiss the crowd. Oh, right. Ahem. <clears throat> Move along, everyone. The human is not of your concern. That's a human? I knew it! Wow, it's so cute! Uh, someone get a picture. Look this way. Where are you taking it? They're so small. Wowie! Hello, human. They look like Kara. Why is it tied up? <laughs> Hello? Ah! 
handle this. Uh, sure thing. Everyone, please, remain calm. This is official royal business. Kindly return to your homes for now. Tra-la-la. Care for a ride, your highness? Back to the castle, I presume? No, to the prison. Huh? Get in. <laughs> I'm here. Asriel, sit on this side. Ready? Yes. Then we're off. So, what's your name? Huh? Frisk! My name is Frisk! Frisk? That's a nice name. I'm Asriel. Aww. But you probably knew that already. Well, Frisk... That will be all, Asriel. Come again any time. Be mindful of your coffee consumption. Huh? This is New Home. The prison isn't too far from here. We've been using it for storage. Huh? Dogami and Dogaressa should be waiting. Oh, I see them. Your Highness, we have prepared a cell. Within the Royal Penitentiary. Hi, guys. This is an utmost honor you can trust us to. Keep the human menace locked away. It smells like a weird puppy. Did it roll on something? Thank you. Dogaressa, Dogami, please take us to the cell. Of course, Your Highness. Right this way. We can guard the human in our sleep. Not that we will. Prince Asriel! Ow. Our apologies, the doorframe is too low. Are you alright? It's okay. I'm fine. Asriel, I suggest you wait outside. No, really. I'm alright. I insist. Okay. Forward. Huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, hey! Finally. Human, do not fool yourself into thinking this is over. Thanks to Asriel. Now you cannot escape my grasp. Thank you for assisting on such short notice. I trust you will keep this confidential. Yes, Prince Kara. Yes, Prince. Good. Dismissed. Sorry for the wait, Asriel. It's fine. Come, we will return later. That's right. This isn't over. I won't give up. Why are you wasting time pretending that it isn't just a fact? Like, now that Frisk knows, they can bring me up here. So this, this guy's guy been through enough. enough. You say that you won't want to hurt him, but that's exactly what you're doing. You can't do that either. They're not even sure how Flowey did, even did that. You're scared to ask how that was even- Frisk, you're talking to yourself again. Kid, get back here. You have a plan. I don't mean just today. Ever since that flower came here, you haven't been acting right. Talk to yourself. Openly discussing resets. Keeping all of these secrets. This isn't like you at all. Sans, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be, I don't know, maybe trying to tell an actual real joke? Let's get to the point. Don't freak out, Flowey. He's just here to talk. And even if he wasn't, it's not like Frisk couldn't stop him or undo it, right? What? Nothing? Huh. Good. Tell me, Weed. Do you remember this place? Cause I do. I know what you've done here, too. You... you remember all of it? That's... it's... how? You never... when did... You know exactly how. You aren't gonna tell anyone what happened here. And you ain't gonna hurt the kid again. Oh, you let me go now, right? <laughs> yeah, bud. I'll let you go. Asriel, aren't you going to ask me your question, or are you just gonna zone out again? Asriel? <laughs> oh, Asriel. You should know by now. That you only exist when I allow you to. And right now, I've decided I don't want you to exist anymore. You look like you have been woken from a terrible nightmare. Do you want to talk about it? Chloe, do you feel 
jealous of Frisk? If, if you want to talk about it, I'm here. Let's just say I leave you tonight. Would you, would you take me out of this pot? Where would you like me to set you down? <laughs> I guess it's the backyard. I've only seen it through the window. It was just a bunny. Wanna hear something even more impressive? Some of these points of light aren't even a single star. They're galaxies. Meaning, gigantic collections of stars so far away, you can only see them through a single point. The universe is quite a lot larger than the underground was. Wow. Can't I have at least five more minutes before you put me back in there? Well, we should really get heading back, but... What? I guess we can give you five more minutes. What are you talking about? Those are... Would you look at this? There's a weed in the garden. Oh, <laughs> no, I can't. It. I, no, don't, don't come any closer. I, I mean it. Oh, the flowers from Mount Ebbett. How'd they all get here? Frisk. Why? Why would Frisk even- For practice. Practice? I, I was g g gonna go back, I swear. Please don't kill me. What's Blobby's HP now? What are you going to- You can even eat them raw. I remember everything. All of your worst resets. The most disgusting and saddest ones. The ones where you tried to redeem yourself. Who let you out? Frisk's guests! What guests? Only me and Paps come over often enough to- N no not like that. They're different. The uncle flowers! What about them? They can talk to them. No, please give it up. We helped him. Oh, see it. Why, Sans? We brought him out to try to help him. He asked what we were letting a term as simple as that, Sans. Stop. We did it. Dude, I see swear. it. Proving that we fall in love. You just want to break. See, I wasn't lying. So you'll heal me, right? I could see that it was already tearing G apart. But I wasn't going to let go, even as I felt myself being torn apart. But then, you showed up at the last minute, trying to play the hero. I could feel myself being put back together as you pulled us out. I thought G was experiencing the same deal. But when I looked up, G was gone. And I was out. G's disappearance, you showed up with that big grin and said, Don't worry, when I reset, it'll be like he was never gone. Guess erasing G from our universe was one way to make sure to keep that promise. I'll try to be good. If I mess up again, go ahead and punish me for it. I, I don't care. Just whatever it takes for you to give me another chance. You survived this, do you hear me? Don't give up. We love you. Uh, okay. I'll be okay. I'll be alright. Be brave, okay, sweetie? Be brave as long as you can be. Because I think you're going to need every ounce of courage for whatever's coming. Take that happiness you've got right now and hold on to it as tight as you can. Oh, That's the spirit flowey. Sans may be a jerk, but he's not completely heartless. Metaphorically. <laughs> so, it will be okay. Yeah, everything will be okay in the end. Y yeah I'll be fine. Sans probably won't even want- Instead of trying to cheer this flower up, shouldn't you be, you know, helping him escape? I mean, Sans isn't exactly a friendly guy. No. Helping Flowey escape is a bad idea. Sans will find him eventually, and I don't think he would be opposed to using Flowey as a whipping boy to punish us if we make him mad. What? No, 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 I'm no. I'm traveling no. Wolfgott. Are you sure no, about no, no, this? No, 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 escape no, no, no. is only a, a temporary solution. Flowey would have to live in constant fear. Flowey should be the one to decide. Not me, and not you. So please, just put him back. <laughs> no, 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 put me back, put me back, put me back, don't put me back. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Didn't mean to scare you. Don't sweat it, okay? I got you covered. There. See? 
you won't even be able to tell. Y you're sure? Yes, you will be fine, Flowey. Everything will be fine. But, but what if- It's okay. You're okay. See? We've got your back. But Sans is going I to- I promise, Flowey. No matter what happens, we'll do everything we can to be here for you. We won't let you be alone. Even if you can't always tell it, we will always be here, watching over you and rooting for you. You've already come so far already. No matter how long it takes, just stay true to yourself and you'll be able to overcome anything. But I- Flowey, I think Sans might just be giving you a second chance. Well, what does that matter? Sans is never going to give you a real second chance, and he was right. I never think things through, even though I haven't been in control of the resets for... <laughs> I don't even know how long it's been since then. But when Frisk first fell into the underground, I guess I... So what if he won't give you a real chance? So what if he's unfair and makes you work for every step you have to take? You will just have to work that much harder to convince him. Yes, it will be hard. Yes, you will make mistakes. But if you give it everything you've got, he will come around and give you the real chance you want. Then start thinking now. Find a way to make this work. I have faith in you to do the right thing. I, I have faith in Sans too. He will come around in time. Just keep trying to prove to him that you want to change. No, you won't. I don't deserve anything real like that. I was an idiot to think that before. Sit down by Flowey. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. I know what it's like to try and try and try only for them to not even notice. But what I do know is that Frisk believes in you, and so do we. You can be good. I know it. It would be amazing for Sans to forgive you, Flowey, or even for him to accept the fact that you're honestly trying to be good. Maybe in time he'll come around. Maybe he never will. But for the moment, he's trying not to kill you. And now he understands that we exist. He understands a little more about you. And you understand a little more about Sans as well. And, well, honestly, understanding each other, well, that's a step in the right direction. It might even be a step toward reconciliation. Or at least a step towards the end of any more outright hostile actions between the two of you. It will take time. In this case, patience is more important than determination. Flowey, Sans already asked you this, but I think we'll get a better answer if you are under pressure. I'm asking you as a friend, do you think even the worst person can change if they just try? Because I do. I know that you are more than just a soulless cusk. Remember the day when the barrier was destroyed? You were the one who freed the monsters, and for a brief moment, you were able to understand love again. Please, hold on to that feeling and push forward. I'm rooting for you, kid. I didn't do that. That was all him, not me. Got it? I'll never be him, no matter how much everybody would want me to. Him who? No one important. Frisk's guests are just confused is all. I, I didn't think you'd be back so, so soon. I didn't need to go far. Uh, oh? I just had to grab a few things. <gasps> Is that? Yeah. What's this disgusting thing doing? It? Eat it. What? You heard me, bud. Eat it. You're joking. I'm not eating that trash. Not a joke. Well, I'm not eating it. Too bad. You gotta. I hate apples. Please try to be reasonable, Flowey. Eat the apple, okay? Please. <laughs> Just eat it, sweetie. Nuh-uh. Flowey, if Santa's giving you the apple, take it. Even if you don't like them, they're a healing item and you need to heal. Besides, you don't want to make Sans mad by refusing his gift, do you? I'm not eating that gross thing. Apples aren't that bad, Flowey. Yes, they are! I know, I know. You don't like those icky apples. But I thought you told Sans you'd try to be good. Now's the time to prove you meant it. I can be good without eating those trash fruit. Flowey, I know what it's like for someone to ask you to eat something you hate. But if that's all Sans is asking you to do, then shouldn't you at least try? I mean, he could have asked you to do something much worse than eat an apple. Apples are so gross! <laughs> Come on, bud. It's only an apple. Flowey, this is your chance. I know you hate apples, but compared to the literal torture you were just going through, I'd say eating an apple isn't that bad of a sacrifice to make for this redemption. This is torture! Come on, Flowey, you ate all that spaghetti in one bite so you can eat an apple. Plus, it tastes better than death. Don't. Flowey, just eat the apple. You can't just eat junk forever, Weed. You have no idea what else you might do if you don't. Go on. Eat it. Hey, how are this? As much as I don't like bribes, if you eat the apple, you can get a big bag of gummy worms. How does that sound? There you go. You should get some apple oz. That's gal be hard to finish that for a while. Seed, that wasn't too hard. So, if I'm right, your HP is at 24 right now. Huh? What does that- And we can't have you go back to the kid without being back to your former glory now, can we? So, only 435 left to go. Can't I have anything else? Funny. Thought you liked the green ones. I, I don't like- Well, you still have to eat it. They're good for you. But, do they all have to be apples? 
Sand, you could have at least told him he would have to eat more of the apples from the start. Excuse me while I search for an even bigger bag to give you, Flowey. Let's see. We gotta get that health back to a full 9,999, right? 9,999? But it's 99,999, not... Then I guess you gotta eat more apples, then. Sans, Flowey can't eat up many apples. Nobody can. But, but th there's no way I could eat that many apples before Frisk. I mean, if you... C couldn't you just use your healing magic and it would be... Is isn't that what you... You could... I could... Tick-tock goes the clock. What now shall we see? Tick-tock goes the clock. Now Sans shall punish thee. Tick-tock goes the clock. And what now shall we play? Tick-tock goes the clock. Now your chance has gone away. Tick-tock goes the clock. He you cannot pacify. Tick-tock goes the clock. Then you shall surely die. Tick-tock goes the clock. As we laugh at fate and mourned you. Tick-tock goes the clock. Even dear little you. Tick-tock goes the clock. He'll chomp and he's in power. Tick-tock goes the clock. Till Sans kills the flower. S Sans? Tick-tock goes the clock. He failed the test you gave him. Tick-tock goes the clock. He'll get no more ever again. Tick-tock goes the clock. Tick-tock goes the clock. Sans kills the flower. Tick-tock goes the clock. Sans kills the flower. Tick-tock goes the clock. Tick-tock goes the clock. Flower, meet your end. You can end the violence when you understand once you fall to silence. You're healing me? Yeah. Th there's a catch to this, isn't there? You wouldn't do the- I wouldn't, huh? No, you've never been nice to me. A at least not since- <laughs> That's true, ain't it? Sans, I- I don't- Why are you- What are you planning? Wouldn't you like to know? This doesn't make sense. You don't- You're never- Flowey, you should thank Sans for healing you. Or if not, maybe you could tell him thank you for me? You want me to thank him? You don't even know what he's planning yet. It's not good. You just promised Sanja that you try to be good. Now what's the good thing you do after being helped? You really gotta stop thinking that every action may have some malicious intent. But, but Sans was hurt. Just do it. It's a good thing if you show gratitude towards him. You could have been dead right now, you know? But Sans was the one who- I know you don't want to say thanks, and to be honest, it puts a sour taste in my mouth as well. Especially since Sans is the reason for you losing HP in the first place. But it could be a good way to show him that you really want to change. I, I get it now. It's okay if he's the one who does it, but, but if I... Flavi, even with all of his anger, Sans still cares about people he wants to protect as well. He cares about Frisk, his brother, and so on. You were forestalling their future by causing these resets. He's giving you something huge by giving you one more chance to prove that you can stop doing that. Get yourself more healthy. You've both had enough for the night without Frisk fretting over what happened. So I... It don't matter. Please don't take it like that, Flavi. You matter. You do. But you're not the only one who matters. I know you can't feel compassion, it's so much harder to understand than that, but please try. H how else am I supposed to take it? You're acting like it didn't happen at all. Jeez, Flowey, you have a lot of HP. Where did you get all that? Y you already know. So, so why are you trying to change the sub- Why did you choose to call yourself something as childish as Flowey? Are you as bad as Asgore at names? Flowey, do you have a secondary food next to gummy worms? What? Why did Sans want to make you eat if he could just heal you? What do you think, Flowey? Do you think you could ask Sans? I- I don't- Flowey, why exactly did you blow up the car? You can tell Sans we asked you. Stop it! Stop changing the- You saved Sans? I can picture you causing the car disaster, but I can't figure out why you would save him. So why did you, Flowey? I don't want to answer your stupid questions! In a previous timeline, did you ever become friends with Sans? Shut up! Just tell me why Sans gets to get away with this, and I'm the one who has to- He give you how many passes before over the course of all your resets, so you can't give him one pass. Besides, you want him to believe you can change, and yet you aren't willing to believe that he can change. But buddy, this is cruel to say, but it's something you needed to experience, Flowey. I know it was painful, I know it was frightening, it doesn't excuse Sans' actions, but you have the ability to empathize with those who have tormented all these resets now. You know what it would feel like to be them. But I... <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong? That's a funny joke. Have you ever considered becoming a comedian? But I didn't! You're the one who brought me! If you suddenly couldn't remember anything that happened, would it make what Sans did okay? I, I don't know. 
How long were you above consequences with your power over the timeline? I don't remember. How much have you gotten away with? I didn't know. Actions will always catch up with you. Even Sans actions today will catch up with him. I have been quiet for now, but I feel the need to act. We are not here to make you feel better. We're here to help you do better. Though some act on their own. But, but you said that was a lie. All right, so you want to feel better? Sometimes to feel good, to truly feel good, you have to get what you need rather than what you want. To give an example, it's like drinking water versus drinking soda. So that tastes good and all, but the sugar makes it bad to drink constantly and can dehydrate you slightly if it has caffeine. For humans, at least, if they go three days without water or without something with water in it, they die. We may not like or want water, but we need it. Do you get it now? I thought you wanted... Do you really hate me this much? Aw, oh, Flowey, of course we do. W what? However, you have to understand our dilemma here. I don't understand. After all, you did murder them all. And Sans remembered. I'm not helping you, am I? But my point is, Sans honestly needed to do that. But maybe you should say thank you. You asked how to be redeemed, right? So maybe this will help, if only a tiny bit. He needed to? So you just wanted me to suffer? Quit crying, you little chuck of horrors wannabe. Get up and do something and get you out of this situation. If all the nicey goody goody asks aren't doing anything, then maybe this will. What happens to the lying deceiving flower that would stop at nothing to get what he wants? Be that flower. You don't need that trash bag. I won't lie or sugarcoat this to make you feel better, sweetie. Yes, some of the askers hate you and want to see you suffer, but not nearly as many as it seems right now. We have a broader view of this than you know. A lot of us are doing what we think will help you the most, or what, is, what we think is right. Don't do anything stupid, Flowey. Stay away! I don't want you here. I don't want to be hurt again. And you're not going to tell me that this is all right. So leave me alone. It's not like any of you care about me anyways. I should have never come here. You shouldn't have. But you're the kid's new game. So I can't just throw you back. But, but why am I? Not sure yet. Kid never really said. Maybe it's because you were in control before. Could be the kid punishing you after what you did to him back then. Or it might just be for fun. Could be anything. After all, that's what you did. This week of Flowey Elementary School. A school built to teach and rehabilitate flowers into becoming good citizens. Now, I have been informed that many of you come from different universes. So, I welcome you into our world as well. Things may seem very different for you here, but we shall work our hardest to make sure you are comfortable here. We have snacks and refreshments in the back after we have a word about the rules of this school. We have things like juices, chips, and sweets. So, if you all will open your student handbooks and follow along, I will begin reading about the rules. Why are you guys talking about fighting? Why don't you just start tearing each other apart already? Uh, because fighting isn't allowed? Because this coward isn't deciding to drag bystanders in instead of... Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is our first day in school, buddy. We aren't supposed to break a rule. Oh, golly, no, 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 no. How much do you bet they're gonna get caught? Ah! Oh, golly, this is hilarious. It sure is. I haven't been this entertained in ages. Ah! <laughs> All right, bud. You heard Asgore. Oh, no come fighting. On. I told you no fighting. Ugh. Oh, what? Ugh. Say, you're probably way too big for him to grab that way, and besides, he's busy carrying off the ghost to who knows where. Why don't you pick up where they left off? Oh, but that's a wonderful idea! Oh, what?! <laughs> oh, golly, I can't! <laughs> oh, golly, I can't believe it! Your attacks were just as glutinous as you are! Gummy was walking to school one day when suddenly he saw this guy. Gummy really liked this guy. This guy took all the chocolate milk one day to build a milk for it. It was a flipping waste. Gummy shot, hey, I'm the likely guy who took all the chocolate milk and you knew I would have wanted one. You were such a jerk guy. Guy was like, don't worry about it. I will worry about it, Gummy shot. And the guy said, don't. 
Don't you tell me what to worry about, Gummy said. But I said not worry because the guy paused. He pulled out one spare carton of chocolate milk. I wanted to give you the bestest one, Guy said. Gummy was like, why? The guy was like, I've liked you for five million years. Gummy said, oh, he said surprisingly. Yes, I brought you this milk so I could tell you my feelings. Then the trees started raining, falling in leaves like it was some gosh darn anime. Then he ran away, leaving Guy heartbroken. Guy was so heartbroken after that that he died. Like if you cry every time. Bop. The most accurate image of Gummy during this whole event. Gummy now has a taste for flower flesh. Run, you screaming veggies. Gummy got into trouble for eating someone during a fight. I, I didn't know it was bad. Seriously, Gummy spent all night in Sansa's void sobbing. Shifter and Gummy are now good friends. Shifter leveled up in friendship. Gummy debates about giving Shifter a full bag of red and yellow gummies. Shifter and Gummy had a heart-to-heart. -heart. Great friends' achievement unlocked. Gummy came out of the closet just long enough for Flora to do apologize. Gummy is back in the closet. Hold off the coming out party, everyone. Gummy told Shifter a story. Gummy felt better. Shifter learned nothing. Best friends unlocked? Gummy's still in the closet. Why? Quick, Frisk! Act natural! You feel conflicted. You know this will be enough food for Flowey, but... You can't help but wonder if you should give Flowey an extra treat today. He has been getting a lot better. You figure you'll write a note, too. It's time Flowey finally gets some pie. Gummy tried to eat Quentin whole, but instead traded four lunchboxes filled with food. He went home and Frisk made him lunch. Gummy went to the cafe to go eat with his new friends with a special treat inside. Shifter noticed. Shifter saw Gummy's pies. Gummy didn't want to share this with his bag. Gummy had an existential crisis about pie. Shifter got some, too. Don't tell Ebbett. Gummy caught Shifter stealing. Strike one. They went to the music room. Flora was screaming, CHOCOLATE! No, no! Gummy defended Shifter because Flora was yelling. Flora was like, screw this, and then left, but not really. Shifter tricked Gummy into getting gummy worms and chocolate. Gummy noticed. Strike two. Flora stopped Gummy. Gummy lost a friend, his only friend. Gummy tried to play it cool around Ebbett. Do, do. He failed. Ebbett wants to look for Shifter together. Gummy convinced Ebbett to search separately. Do, do. Smooth. Gummy found Shifter accidentally scared him and proceeded to chase after him. Gummy, no. Ebbett was suspicious. Shifter lied, not because of Gummy, though. Gummy stayed the night in school, sobbing because he had zero friends. During the night, Gummy told a bunch of flowers that Sans is abusing him. He cried all night. Ebbett agreed to talk to Shifter. Gummy got a new friend. Shifter is a good friend. They're best friends. Gummy spent the whole day hugging this doll. He loves it. Gummy dressed it up as Audrey II, second, which he believes is still a real monster flower. Don't tell him. Gummy tried to eat Quentin again. Shifter said no. Gummy didn't feel like he was wanted after that. Gummy learned two, wor two new words. Nobody told him what they meant. Gay, heterosexual. Gummy and Shifter worked out to find out what gay meant. What does gay mean? Maybe it's for people who like to hang out together. Gummy and Shifter decided that they were gay for each other. So they went to Abbott to ask, are we gay? <laughs> Gummy and Shifter learned that being gay for each other is the same thing as smooch buddies. Shifter said he had one. That's cool. Gummy kissed Shifter. Gummy realized that he wasn't going to remember Shifter or Abbott. Uh, I guess that's it then. <laughs> I'll never see them again. B but that's okay. I, I won't remember them after today. I, I won't even remember leaving my pot, so it's, it's, it's gonna be fine. Just, just fine. They, they won't even miss me. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're flowers, right? We don't miss anyone. Uh, at least I'll still have that octa- Oh wait, no I won't. <laughs> I, I can't fall asleep. If I fall asleep, I'll forget. Uh, I can't. F f